cooking konjac noodles is the subject of today's food for thought video. Hi guys, my name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to today's live food for thought video where today we're going to be cooking those noodles we were talking about yesterday. Now I've had a few requests saying actually what are these noodles, what do they actually smell like and how do you actually cook that so we are going to do this right here, right now, guys. So these are those noodles that I told you about yesterday. And basically, they're nine calories per portion, which is half that pack. So just go wild of the whole pack for 18 calories, if you like. Uh, and they're made from konjac flour, organic, uh, zero carbs, vegan. Just They tick every box, basically. Uh, two ingredients in here as well. So just on a health point of view. They are great. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be cooking them. So, uh, instruction number one, drain away water. So I'm opening the packet. Let's cut away this. So you can see that there is some water in there. So we've got to drain that away. Now I think I'm prepared and I've got everything I need. So let's drain that into this bowl. Now why we do that, I, I warned you yesterday that they stink. Oh, they don't seem that stinky. Maybe they've changed the recipe. No, they don't. I can't really remember, to be honest with you, what they smelled like last time. I think it was like just a bit chemically, but... Oh, actually, yeah, they do smell. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not sure what the smell is, but it is something. And I remember this smell getting worse as well, so let's see how that gets on. Right, so that's number one, is to drain away. Now the second part was to um, rinse them two or three times. And as I said, um, the first time I did this, I was like, there's nothing on there. Why would you possibly rinse them so much and waste all that water? And as I said, because of the smell, I then realized, now. I'm not rinsing under the uh, normal tap it, because uh, I want you guys to see it and to see what happens. So I'm just putting it in my sieve and in this bowl. So I'm sort of rinsing it. Now, as I said, I'm doing this here just so you guys can witness what is happening. Because I want you to see there's no like dodginess going on. There's no like weird chemicals coming out. Because when you when something tells you to rinse something two or three times you think it must be filthy do you know what i mean so this is why i'm doing it in front of you because i want you to see the color of the water but there's actually nothing coming out there so i'm just rinsing these noodles and they're actually starting to really look like normal noodles now as i said because i don't want that chemical sort of smell uh, now i've now i've done it in in your witness I will rinse them under the tap as well. So if you just have a quick look at that water, you can see it's quite clear. And I'll just bring it close to the camera. So that's what these noodles are looking at now. And that was the juice that came out of them. So let me just give these a quick rinse. Talk amongst yourself, guys. One minute. So I'm just giving those a quick rinse under the tap over here. Uh, if you're wondering where these are from, they're from Holland and Barrett, 150. So they are quite expensive, uh, but if you're having it once a week, you know, just as a little occasion, I think it is worth it for those of you who are missing that noodly flavour if you are on zero carbs. So a nice good wash, and then again. The good thing about rinsing them so much is they are really perking up now, look. So they're really starting to have a bit of a bounce. Now, I've got my boiling water here. Now, to cook them, it says bang them in a microwave for one minute, which, as you know, I'm not a big fan of microwaves. It just kills all the nutrients. So let's boil it for two minutes. So that is in my boiling pan. And I'll just give that a quick stir. We'll just wait till it starts actually boiling and then we'll set our timer. And then we're going to taste test them. Now the serving suggestion uh, is just like you would with normal noodles. So 
Um, add to your favourite noodle sauce, stir fry, soup or salad. So if you're making a ramen, for those of you who love ramens, this is a great um, additive for ramens. I'm actually going to be having them today with things that I need to eat up, which is just chicken and vegetables uh, with some peri peri sauce on the chicken. So I'm just having them as a little bit of the side. Um, if you've got speller, uh, calories to use, you could throw a uh, stock cube in there as well, so it absorbs the flavour. So like a healthier super noodles type of thing. Um, if you want to be really healthy and really add some health kick to it, you could stir in a tablespoon or a teaspoon of olive oil. So again, you've got that lovely noodly like texture and then you're getting some of those good fats in there. That's still not boiling, I don't know why. My two minute noodles is now turning into a 10 minute video. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> uh, it's because I turned the water down, I think. <coughs> anyway. So, um, I was saying about the nutrients, um, apart from um, four grams of fibre, uh, there's actually nothing else in there, so uh, it is, it's good. They're a bit like Rice Krispies, guys. I always say, if you're going to have, if you know, you're really desperate for cereal, although cereals have got nothing good that's going to give your body nutrients-wise, just have something that hasn't got anything bad in. Uh, and that's the category that noodles fall, these noodles fall in, and that uh, rice generally would fall in as well. So, right, the water is kind of boiling. Alexa, two-minute timer. Second timer. Konjac noodles. She's like, what? What are they? <laughs> Alexa, what are konjac noodles? Here's something I found on the web. According to infobarrel.com, konjac noodles, known as boshirateki noodles and konyaku, are a popular low-calorie food in Asian countries like Japan. I think that's it, that's all she has. So yeah, so as I said yesterday, they are from Japan. They're a popular low calorie noodles. I don't actually like the way they're called diet noodles. You know, diet is just not a nice word, is it, when you're on a diet. We like, but natural's good. Natural noodles is probably a good seller. But the fact that they are organic, they're zero carb, and they're vegan, you know, it ticks so many boxes, which is fabulous. Um, anything else that I need to tell you that is on the box? Um, this week we are talking about them quite a lot because I've got these ready meals that have got the sauces in there as well. So all this palaver about washing them hundreds of times and uh, boiling it, um, that can be missed out if you have the ready meal version. However, these are a fiver guys, these are 150. So if you are on a budget, you may need to do this version. Right, so I'm just going to give that a quick stir. Now I am going to be taste testing these raw, as in I'm not adding any sauce or anything, um, so they may not be as uh, tasty, but that's because I want to taste the flavour. I am going to add a little bit of salt in there. If you're watching and you've tried these, what do you think guys? Hi Kay, hi Fiona, hi Linda, hi Tracy, hi Aaron, welcome. Right, Alexa stop. So our two minutes are up. I'm just stirring in that salt. Right, what I'm gonna do is pour away my pan of water that I washed them in. You see what I mean about the high water usage for this? Um, Right, so then I'm just going to drain these off. There we go. Now they do look like normal noodles, which is a, obviously a, a plus. Oh, now I've just got a whiff. <laughs> the, the bad smell is never good. Oh, maybe it's just the water then that's dripping off, because that's, that's not so smelly. As I said, that's the only bad thing about these noodles. They were just quite whiffy. But if you wash them adequately, they shouldn't be so smelly. So 
So here is my 18 calories worth of noodles. And for those of you that don't know the calories of normal noodles, you're probably talking about between 100 and 200 calories per portion. Uh, and this is nine calories for half that portion. This is why everyone's like, wow, diet noodles. So let's uh, give you a little close up look, guys. So it looks like uh, normal noodles. Maybe they're not as thick, but if you, if you like those thin noodles, especially if you like noodle soup, stuff like that, people wouldn't actually tell the difference looks wise. Um, I actually think they really look like super noodles, don't they? But let's do the most important bit, which is, of course, the taste test. Now, it's all flooding back to me now. They, they are noodly, but I remember now, you see, it's so long since I've had anything of this texture, I'm actually really loving it. They are squidgy. You know that squidgy texture when you you bite something and it literally shoots between your teeth. That is the texture that they've got. The big test is with my mum, because she, she'll either not eat them at all or she'll really like them. So we'll see what she says. But I actually find those really palatable. As I said, what put me off last time was the smell. There's a little like, it's not a chemically smell. Yeah, it just just doesn't smell like food. That's <laughs> that's the slight issue. But if you obviously added these to a sauce, or you're adding them with your veg or your meat or whatever you're having your noodles with, then you probably wouldn't even do that. It's just because I'm really picking uh, and looking for that smell. Because I said um, I noticed that before. But that's it, guys. So that is our konjac flour noodles, which are just nine calories. Uh, they also do the rice version, uh, but more importantly, they also do the ready meals version, which we are going to be testing throughout this week. Alexa, stop. I'm not sure who else set a timer. Did you? Because I'm sure I needed one timer. I'm thinking now, was it in for two minutes? <laughs> well, it's warm and it tastes good, so it's fine. Uh, Sam's saying, trying them fried, that's how I do Naked Rice and noodles. Yes, there's another company called Naked Rice, and I think they're even more expensive, aren't they, Sam? I think they're like a fiver or something crazy. But as I said, these ones were 150 from Holland and Barrett, uh, and you can buy them online now. Right, guys, thank you for joining us. Um, Sam has just mentioned about stir-frying as well, so I've got the rice version. On Friday, maybe we'll do some stir-fried rice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Right, I'm off to enjoy these with my chicken and veg. Happy Monday.